Hang all the mistletoe. I wanna get to know you better. This Christmas and as we trim the tree, <laughs> Boris Johnson is gonna win this Christmas. I wish I could sing. Honestly, that's like one of my, like my dreams. Like I don't understand why God didn't give me that that skill. Mm. Have you got a Christmas spirit? Yeah, I have. You know, you know, you know, you know what? This Christmas. I'm actually gonna get myself a pro goal, put it in the house, and I want you to see all of my art. Pro so go. Yeah, the camera. Yeah. So I want you, uh, is that what it's called? Go pro, yeah. Pro goal. So I'm gonna record all of my art singing. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna actually perform. I'm gonna make a little stage. Um, and I can't wait. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be great. This is actually the second time we've had our guest here on this show. Yep. But the first one never came out. Because? He was so bad. Yeah. No. Because uh, we had an audio issue. And as soon as it, we realized, we get, get Skits straight back in. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome, Skits. What's going on for the second time? But you would have never seen the first. But you've, you've heard him rustling around eating peanuts and sweets. There's no rules, Skits, man. There's no rules. Make yourself feel at home. There's balance mm. in front of me right now. Yeah. There's, there's shit there's, and yep. then there's good. Yeah. Let me just move that on this side. You know what I'm saying? Balance. I like this though, you know, it's Yin like, yang. on Filthy we had Nando's, today we got Sensations, Highland Water, Apple Banana, Strawberry Harry Bowls, uh, Kinder Bueno, that, that, that chocolate bar is terrible. And of course, Real don't bad. forget my, Percy. Pigs. <laughs> Percy. Um, but today, because we already filmed an episode with Skits, we talked about wrestling, we talked about No Rules News, we did all of that. Mm. We didn't want to bring him back in and go, let's just repeat the same thing. Yeah. We wanted to do something different yeah we wanted to lean on one of Spex's major interests in life yep lately lately yep that's right you've not always been interested in it no I mean back in the day it was Smackdown and Raw okay but now this new Smackdown and Raw right so today Probably. we have our general election mm. special Woo. Wait, hold on. Are you conservative or are you Labour? And, and look at me when I, when I answer me when you, with your eyes facing me. Well, I like making my dad pregnant, so it's a Labour thing. You like making who pregnant? You've got yeah. no kids. Do you know what? I thought you said, I thought you said his dad. <laughs> so what? No, yeah, he did sound like uh, It sounded like his dad, didn't it? I thought you said, I like Don't making cry. my dad proud or something when they Don't said pregnant. Right, we'll check the camera. We'll check the edit. Yeah, it's on, it's on yeah, camera. The sound is working this time. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Well, listen, let me tell you this now. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for politics. Are you ready? Skits, you're ready as well, of course. But I watched an interview yesterday of John Major yeah. in 1992. John Major started talking about recession. I think they were just in a recession at that point in 92. I know it's something about those guys upstairs. They're full of broken promises. Of course. He promised me that I would be a homeowner. In 1992? He said in the future. So he said 1992, I was, I think I was, I was born 1991. So I was... 12 months old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have been a homeowner, I guess. Because remember when you were young, there was no one, there's not one, there was always months. So if you was, you know, uh, two, you was 24 months old. Yeah, yeah 18, months, you, right. yeah, oh, yeah. 18 months old. Yeah, the 18 months old is baby crib. Mm. So, huh? something. You're in the crib, you was in a yeah, baby crib. Baby crib, I remember that. I had a cot. So <laughs> here's how today's No Rules show is going to work Specs put out a tweet. He wants to know who you guys think should be the Prime Minister if, the, if it wasn't someone from politics. Uh, we're going to run through a few of those answers, see mm -hmm. what people think. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to just give you guys a little breakdown of Boris and Jeremy Corbyn before they got into politics. Woo! Just That's to the... see their real life, see, see what happened before. See, see what... I feel like he was like Mick Foley before he became now we're Boris. Yeah, so like this elections turn into like a cult of personality mm. thing. It's Corbyn versus Boris. It's, it doesn't seem to be policy versus policy, it's cult, cult of personality. So let's mm. just do personality. Politics are everywhere. Politics, man. It's, politi it's politics in full with fellas. We have no power anyways. When you got kicked out of America, <laughs> politics. Uh, yeah. If Trump wasn't in power, who knows? You could have had a great time. If Trump wasn't there, I would have got in and I would have had a good time, but I didn't. You going again next year? How? I'm banned. What, they banned you after they don't let you in? In America, what's going on? Yeah. That's it. Pretty much. He wouldn't want to go back anyway. You want to risk what they did to his... So they're not letting you in, but they're bringing that coming to America too? Yeah. That's a joke. That's yeah, mine. that's crazy. That's, that's, yeah, that is... Um, no one asked for that. 
that what's the word? What's the word? That is a hip no hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, yeah. yeah hypocrisy. hypocrisy. Hypocritical. Yeah. Hypocritical. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is uh, I don't know about that. I don't know sharpshoot. I know sharpshooter. Put in a critical condition. Uh, yeah, just think of hypo and mm. critical and put them together. Excuse me? Did you who? Hypo and cr- critical. Do you know critical? Yeah. What happened? What do you mean? I know you grew you grew up with him. what happened? How did he fall off the swing like that? You seen Vanilla Sky? No. <laughs> you should. Is that a film? I've actually never seen Vanilla Sky. Tom Cruise, yeah. Never seen it. Is it? I'll be honest, no, yeah. I haven't seen it. I've just seen the scene. Oh, the go massive. away. Is it? <laughs> he tried to reference a film he's never seen. Where's the brain? <laughs> what? Where's the brain? <laughs> in what? In, in where? Critical or... I'm asking you about critical. Where's the brain? <laughs> it's in there, man. It's in his skull. And it's still cage. It's still cage. It's still cage. What? I've just never seen a head like that, that's all. I'm, I'm obsessed with critical's head. Funny enough, I mm. helped him try on a hat in store the other day. And he asked me how it looked. And I did the bridging thing. I said, you look good. But when he turned it to the side. I've never seen a hat have a broken back. <laughs> I want to politics. <laughs> Not our politics. <laughs> that kind of politics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I love the head shape, man. So let's get into some serious Sundays. Yeah. Critical's pillow. Is it in a good condition? <laughs> what? Critical's pillow. What His name Ma- is Critical. So imagine anything that makes contact. Oh, so he knows he's in a condition. Yeah. <laughs> what about Miles's pillow? Do you think if Miles head butted Critical, <laughs> what do you think would happen? Do you think it's like lighting a match? You'll miss. No, I think Miles' head's small, but <laughs> you can't, you, have you shot a bottle? Try and bottle Miles with an Alize bottle. You're missing the, the whole. You'll miss. <laughs> He'll win. So, Space put out a tweet earlier on today. He said, I'm filming my UK general election special episode of No Rules Show today. I need you guys to suggest some people who you would like to be prime minister who has nothing to do with politics and why they would be good. We got some responses. Maybe Critical has got stairs in his head. <laughs> Sorry, his sorry, head is a loft converter. No, nah, it's in my mind now. Now you, because you said critical, it's in my mind, bro. It's, it, you say his hats have a broken back, yeah. but yours has broken ribs. Have uh, you, you seen your hat? One second, one second. Wait, one second, one second. Are you trying to say that the, this head shape's bad? No, that head shape's fine. It's the hat I'm talking about. This one? Yeah. Maybe critical wore it. <laughs> At Scott Stevo says, mm. Poet just said Antonio Reyes for Prime Minister. The Poet just said it? Poet jumping on the jocks? No. Nah, that was the joke on it. Filthy Fellas. Wait, you this? said Poet just said oh, Antonio yeah. Reyes. That was the joke. You see when I said that when I said I wanted our um, Reyes manager of Arsenal, did that offend you? No. Is there a joke in there? Yeah. Where? He can't manage Arsenal. He's dead. Which means we don't need no one to manage Arsenal, right? So uh, the joke's you, not that's about what Reyes. you meant. <laughs> that's what you meant. What? Yeah. Like people, like people message me like, "Oh, Lau Reyes." What do you mean, Lau Reyes? What did you do when Reyes passed away? It's, it's honestly. I you put was, a picture up of him. Yeah. I said my condolences. And I see I kept him moving the next So day. why can't I that's what I done? So why can't I joke about it after? They don't not understand that, that you're a comedian. And this no, is I'm what, not a comedian, I'm a joker. Oh well, you're a joker. <laughs> mm. You're a joke man. So you make jokes. So they should understand that nothing you say is serious. I just you know what, people, let me just tell you this here. When I was young, I used to cry. I remember my auntie Layla, yeah, she passed away. And um, that's why I named my daughter Layla, because of my eldest auntie that passed away. Okay, cool. I cried. And you know, you know that crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I did that crying, yeah, where the, the you know the bogey was going down the chin up to meet the eye and tears and all that kind of stuff. So I did that kind of crying for her. Sorry. And I said to myself, <laughs> Sorry. Why am I crying when someone passes away? It's because it's learnt behaviour. Growing up, yeah, you learn to. I see Anti Fanta and all these guys. You know, who? <laughs> 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 I see Andy Fanta and all these guys, yeah. There's some anti Fanta news actually, isn't there? But we'll, okay. we'll save it. Yeah. yeah. Crying at funerals. So I started crying. But now I'm old, I realise, hold on. We're going to meet, we'll meet at the crossroads. If I pass away tomorrow, we're going to meet again. They're just going on a longer holiday. You're just going on a longer holiday? Yeah. So I'm going to joke and celebrate your life until we meet again. That's how yeah, I look at that's it. That's it. If you, if you look at it like me, emotions will go away during funerals. I reckon all those people that's passed away that you've made mm. a joke of are waiting for you mm. to end it to enter that next room mm. and give you a fucking 100%, big hug. 100%. I'm untouchable. Effie Havoc Nygaard says D double because every time he spits in parliament, the speaker of the house will have to wheel it. I can't lie, yeah. The other day I typed in uh, reloads, like grime reloads and D double was on 
every segment. He is Austin every time the glass breaks. Yeah. Ooh, boom, everyone goes mad. Mad. I think D Double, for me, has to be in everyone's top two. What, of all time? In, of all time in yeah. grime. I, See, I, don't can't, do this. I can't disagree with that. Effie, you disagree with that? Am I lying? Not mine, it's not in mine. I love it. I love D Double. Look, my, my WhatsApp picture is he me is and D Double. My Instagram picture is me and D Double. I love D Double. But he's not in my top two. Do you know what winning trophies is like? It's a mm. reload. Mm. So imagine how many trophies he has. No, he's, 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 he's up there, man. He's Zico. He's Zico. Zico doesn't crime. have that many trophies. I don't think Zico even he's won the David World May. Cup. He's David May. Nah, if we're talking Premier League, he's Alex Ferguson. He's Alex Ferguson. Uh, is he the manager of the Jose. best team for 20 years? I don't know. If do, you know do you know how I... Do you know what... what, what? Crew. I think he's Matt Letizia. <laughs> best for me. That's the best, best English football player I've ever seen. Yeah, technically fantastic. Technically. But all the stuff around it. Yeah, because I love the double E. Yeah. I love Matt Letizia. He's Matt Letizia. Listen, when I used to go raves, when I used to go sign and that, MCs will be spitting and D doubles just walked on stage and people are facing, just waiting for him. He might wait an hour before he touches mic. Mm -hmm. you, you, you stop caring about everyone else because of him. Yeah, yeah. And he comes on and everything's slow. He's like the Undertaker when he starts. Yeah. He picks up the mic. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Everything's ooh, slow. Ooh. The Adam's apple's baggy, probably don't laugh. <laughs> and then he just drops it. <laughs> D double legend. Effie, that's a big one. Effie, I like him that. as prime minister. You on that? Huh? You on that as for him as prime minister? It's just a talking though. Imagine, imagine him talking about, imagine him talking about uh, TV license. I couldn't take it seriously because hmm. if it's slow, yo, TV license, like, like, come mm -hmm. on, this guy's speak, you know, speed it up. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he could be prime minister, but I would vote for him. Put him in the cabinet. I'll put him there. He he could be there. He's, he could be the elected. He could be. In the well, election. Part of the team. In the election, part of, yeah. yeah. Oh. Next one, 29% battery at 4040 Vision says, mm. not sure about his policies, but Miles, <laughs> wait, just so he can get his own place when he moves into number 10 and his mum can be headache free. That's a <coughs> shout. Because the floorboards. Shocking floorboards. I can't, I can't, I can't have Miles' as mum or Miles president or prime minister of, of anything. The only thing they can be prime minister of is their house and the floorboards with the door locked. When they, when they come outside, no. I can't be, I was thinking the other day, I was thinking, just imagine I, I decided to run away from home, like what you did back in day skits. I never ran away from home, ever. You kind of look like one of the kids you who would run away from home, yeah. <laughs> Sheriff, Sheriff in my school ran away from home, he slept on the tube. <laughs> I never did that. Never? No. I don't. Your parents together? No, they, they split up when I was 13. <laughs> Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Your parents split up. Oh, for man. the better, you prick. Huh? It was for the better. Specs and parents aren't together either, by the way. They're not together. No. Oh, sorry to hear. But, but at least they were together from day one. <laughs> they, was, they didn't halfway there, halfway there. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> Day one is like no, but you yours no, yes then no. Yours was a change of mind, <laughs> <laughs> change of mind, and I don't like that because the change of mind means the last couple of days the bed stops to shake. You know what I mean? When you when you, the stepdad come in, in my family and the bed was shaking all the way till now. Oh yours <laughs> gradually the bed just stopped shaking, <laughs> but the shoulder was shaking the sofa, which means you couldn't watch wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do you want to hear one story go on. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I taped over porn yeah my dad was taping with wrestling and I got beats for it hey your dad was do you active. remember when you could do that though tape over tape yeah <laughs> so, so imagine was, mm -hmm. I've ran downstairs yeah and I've seen it on a bookie channel on the satellite on the the satellite um Whatever the fuck it's called, you Skybox. Yeah, yeah, the box. Mm -hmm. But the TV's off, and I saw it on a bookie channel. I just changed it to the channel wrestling was on. I and kept it recording, recording, and I ran back down. Next morning, I got the cassette thrown at me. What did you do? You fucking taped over my cassette, you fucking idiot! Did Is it? He swore. Yeah, my dad's like Cockney Greek. Is it? Yeah. Do you know what I was thinking? What? I would be fuming. What if I was taped over your? Shirt? No, if I'm I, imagine that I've got Linda McMahon. A sex tape with Kid Rock on a bolt. 
Yeah, not Pamela Anderson, but Linda McMahon and Kid Rock <laughs> on the boat. Was it Kid Rock? No, it one. wasn't. It's was Tommy, Tommy Lee. Lee. Huh? Tommy Lee. Some, no, I'm, okay, let me keep it Kid Rock because that's what the brain said first. I was meant to say Tommy Lee, mm. but now we're going to keep it Kid All Rock. Right. So Kid Rock, Tommy Lee, <laughs> and Linda McMahon. Handicap match. <laughs> I can change it. <laughs> I can change it. People. You just did. <laughs> yeah. And, um, <laughs> I'm, 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 I've got my, my hand ready to shake when the wife goes to bed. But my son is gone. And I've gone down with the pipe in my hand. But I could see Undertaker and Kane arguing about the fire. Mm. I'd be fuming. You messed up the shoulder shake. The yon and only came at us with Sean Dyche or Chris Wilder, proper Brexit managers. That's a shout. You want someone that eats worms as your manager <laughs> with no voice? <laughs> Prime Minister, <laughs> yeah. No Who's thanks. Chris Wilder again? Is that Field United. Hmm, his face is square. <laughs> They're all square, actually. Mm. Nah, nah, nah. That's, I don't think that's a good shout. They're Brexit managers, though. Why are they Brexit managers? <laughs> it's just their style. You know, like when you've got a football player and football manager, they're resolute. Chris Wilder's uh, manager's style is Brexit. Just get Jim Smith. <laughs> he passed. He passed? He passed. Oh. oh you know who Jim Smith is? He no. bought, Jim Smith bought Paolo Wanchop to yeah. Derby County yeah. when they were playing at a ground called Baseball Ground. Dean Sturridge. And was at the stairs in Wembley. Serious? What? Mm. Stair, you know, you, where'd you live? West London. You know Wembley? Lambert Grove, yeah, that's yeah. miles ends. So Jim Smith was there? Yeah, we see him a lot in Wembley. Yeah, on the stairs. the stairs. Ask Miles. Ask Miles. At Frizzy Hedgy, whose name, Who? at Frizzy Hedgy. Who is he? Frizzy Hedgy whose name is Arabic, mm -hmm. written in Arabic here. It's got to be Teddy. And there's a little gif of Teddy Long. Oh, class. That is class. Uh, people, let's give, Long, you know, let's, yeah. give him, let, let's give him a, a, a finger apart. What does that mean? It's like a new clap, yeah. <laughs> That's sick, that. because <laughs> Teddy Long for me was a ref. He was a ref, then became general manager. Always wears blazers and suits that are not his size but he always dances to his own music when he comes out. Teddy Long was sick to you, man. And he exposed one of the uh, female wrestlers for sleeping around. Did yeah. yeah, on someone's podcast the other day, yeah. So he's Sawata. Sawata Teddy means in my Long, country. Man. Sawata means, if I tell you something, if I said to you, like, cool, you know what? Um, I caught Tigo shoulder, sh I caught Tigo shoulder shaking. Don't tell him, but you go and tell him. You're Sawata. Next comment comes from <laughs> HR1 Tech. It says Sam Big, 100% win rate for England. He would beat the EU. I'm sure he means Big Sam. Big Sam obviously got sacked as England manager very early doors, but he won every game. Sam Allardyce. Mm. One game, right? I don't think he lost. Did he, did he manage one game? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe yeah, one, yeah. 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 And then something came out and then a story come. Sam Allardyce, He was drinking Big a Sam. pint of wine. I like him, you know. I, I do like Big Sam. In charge of this country. No. Yes, because he's back. a man. Is he a man that as brings a lot of African players? As long players? as a and Campo no. are yeah. on yeah. the panel. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, F. Yes, we have. Big Sam's obsessed with Africans. Yeah, yeah. And so, Gotti. And Gotti. Yeah. George Dugan says Vince McMahon. Yeah, hundred percent. You gotta love Vince. Vince McMahon for me. Um, was a commentator. Yeah. Obviously, it was his dad's business. Um, he's put Triple H in charge. He's made Kane general manager. I fucking changed my mind. He made Kane general manager. He's Kane's a mayor, man. though. These so men have politics. stayed at the club for time. Kane, but Kane's the mayor of a city in. Uh, where is it? That's shocking. Tennessee? Because you could just pull up Alabama? a picture of him is when it? he first came. Did he ever buy, did he ever, um, That's Alabama? Shocking. Is he the one that brought Donald Trump to wrestling? Who? Kane. Vince. Yeah. So Vince has got links. Oh, 100%. Vince has well, got Vince, everyone uh, to the WWE. Linda McMahon, F. Linda McMahon works for Donald Trump. She's in his cabinet. She's in charge She's of his mad. campaign. That is mad, boy. Her CV6, so she was CEO of the WWF. But I've got one, I've got a worry Trump's though. Panel. I've got a worry though, skits. What? I think Vince back in the day was hard. Like I liked him, but he hasn't found another Austin The Rock ever since. I think when he got his haircut, he started being shit. He started shaving. Like he started to get old and, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
I look at wrestlers now, John Roman Cena. Reigns, CM Punk. There's no one big John like Austin. Cena. John Cena. John Cena. Come nah, he's on. shit, man. Yeah, but he's big like them, though. He's big, but he's shit, bro. He's, he's not good. You know like what them. I mean? Yeah. That's a terrible wrestler. That's just a, that's that's forced to be like them. Yeah. It's not organically. Yeah, that's true. I think I think the only person I think that could have been like The Rock and Austin is Randy Orton. And uh, we'll do one more. Asta at Benjamin Shehu. Biscuit. According to him, he's touching his mum's bum stop knife crime in London for about four days. 10 out of 10 candidate. <laughs> That's shocking. Shouldn't be laughing about knife crime to be honest, but Biscuit. What did I think when I first saw him touch his mum's bum? I think I deleted the view from my mind and just cleared out my, my, my cleared history. Because... Touching bums. Touching your mum's bum should never ever occur. Ever or even pass through mind or anything like that. He See? may if you're young and you watch that video and you go and smack your mum's bum, that's crazy. I can't have biscuits. I can't. Vince, that's what I want Vince. Vince was that's straight suspension. Straight suspension. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your hand shouldn't be there. Send you home. No. Slap your dad's bum. It's more muscle. <laughs> More grip, <laughs> better texture. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I do. Know. I that makes sense. Do you think man would have reacted less, it, more more of a jokey way, if they saw him slap his dad's bum? Listen, if my, if my son slapped my bum, I'll try and fart in his hand. So we could have a bit of bants. Do you know oh. what I mean? But I think when you go to your mum now, it's like, mm. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You came from near there. Where exactly? Mm. Your house is. You, you was living there. Years ago, no, no, no. Do you know, I never used yeah, to- but he was sucking his mum's titty when he was young. Hmm. But then again, that's fine because you were in the arms. Do you know what I mean? You were in the arms, you couldn't really move, you were teething. You were still sucking your mum's titty. I was just mm. thinking about it now, nah, boy. You just reminded me, critical as a baby. <laughs> Three tits. In his mum, in his mum's arms. <laughs> but the head is, all the way over there, and she has to dash her breast. <laughs> <laughs> and she keeps missing. <laughs> She's got tits on the floor. <laughs> Pass it. <laughs> Sorry, quick, I had to get that joke in there. Well, that was Serious Sundays. And now, because this is the general election special, where we are getting special on the subject of the general election, we're gonna flick a coin. Cool. And we're gonna decide which of the two major party leaders, one of whom will be prime minister by the time this episode comes out, who Should we're gonna profile first oh. in their career before politics. Like, what, is it this mm. week? Yeah. Is it live? It's tomorrow. <laughs> is it live? What time? 10 p.m.? The whole day. Whole day. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> What are we doing? Last day to vote was today or so. We have to do something. No, the voting's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. The voting's tomorrow. The postal vote's been Wait, going I, on. I don't understand. The election is the tomorrow. The polling station. Opens tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. And you, you have- I, When I went to the hall, I went to the hall. I remember, I think it was Gordon Brown, Tony Blair times. Right. And when I went to the hall, and pff, there were situations. <laughs> Where's your hall? There's a hall. Uh, it was in Caledonia. It was half-moon half prison. Yeah. There's I a couple there. things there still. What? what? That's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a blazer tomorrow. From your ends. Yeah. If it's a, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm wearing a blazer tomorrow, boy. A blazer? There's situations. I know, but I hear you wear blazers every day. Yeah. No, but I'm, I'm talking like a gold blazer. Like, I want to stand out. Like you just won the Ryder Cup. Of course. Why don't you purchase gold mm. dust costume? No, that's... that's 25 hour delivery. I, I never liked gold dust. <laughs> that sound there just to put me off. Jeremy's heads or tails? Uh... Let's go toes because he's ass. Okay, flick. It's heads, so we're going Boris. Oh, for fuck's sake. Makes sense though, heads, hairstyle. <laughs> heads, <laughs> yeah. he's got a big head as well. Come on, Boris! Yeah! yeah! I love when they do that in the-, in the He'd um, be a sick wrestler, Boris yeah. Johnson. Boris. House of Commons. So this mm. is the life of Boris Johnson before he got into politics, which is more important than everything he's done in politics because everything he's done in politics is so instructive. He voted on this, so that means he's anti this. He voted on that, it means mm. he's pro that. That's too easy. It's too easy to make a decision about a politician doing that. So instead, here's his bio before he was in politics. 
Alexander Boris Johnson was born on <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> Why does anyone have a secret name like that? Why? What's yours? Well, he does have a secret. Well, your middle name. name. What's your middle name? Uh, Garcia. Yours? Keeble. It's actually big. What? Keeble. What? Oh, I thought that was your actual surname. Ah. Stacy Keebler. <laughs> Alexander Boris Johnson was born 19th of June, 1964. That makes him 55 years old. Good age? That's good, 64. That's AC after Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in Manhattan's Upper East Side in New York City. What? Upper Boris? East Side. Boris was born in America. Harlem B. So he's got, he's got an automatic green card. What, he had there? dual citizenship. Wow, I didn't know that people. Boris what's, was born in America. What's country of origin? But he was born in... Manhattan. No one has that hair in America. Parents. I thought he was a Scandinavian. That's class. So you think being born in New York is positive? Back in the day it was. That was a big deal. Because yeah, Americans, garden, bro. Americans didn't want to let um, Barack Obama, well, Trump didn't want Barack Obama to be president because he said he wasn't born in America. Where was he born in Kenya? That's what Boris uh, Trump said. Where was Obama born now? Uh, the Hawaii. Hawaii, yeah, that's it. Excuse me. Barack Obama was born in Hawaii. Yes. Yeah. And his grandma's from where? Well, Kenya. Depends. The boy, one's from Kenya. Yeah. yeah that, that's that's a whole heap of confusion now. Just too far. <laughs> so being born in rats. being born in Manhattan is a, a a plus for you, you reckon? That's where that's where we're wrestling arenas. That's where Raw is on SmackDown. I know if I go on my phone now and type in SmackDown Raw is War in Manhattan, there's been numerous ones. Numerous ones. Yeah. So that makes sense. Boris is winning right now. Anthony Joshua lost there though. To Andy Ruiz. That's still fine because <laughs> the, you know Andy Joshua got the revenge. Yeah. His dad was studying economics at Columbia University at the time. That's a big university in America, right? Big university in New York. I think Issues went there. Issues, did you go to uh, Columbia University? Because you've been everywhere, you liar. <laughs> <You're done. laughs> That's my boy, Issues, people. Um, his parents and him returned to the UK a few months later so that his mum could go to Oxford. Oh, wow. That's where my cousin lives, Nelly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He moved around a lot early in his life, lived in Crouch End, Washington, and Connecticut. Been a bar, isn't it? You know who lives like in Connecticut? He's been to every, it's like he was doing the tour of Raw and SmackDown. This is what I'm saying. You know who lives in Connecticut? I, 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 I remember From Connecticut? Oh, who is it? Because I was doing it in a Leon Garcia voice. Go on. Vince McMahon. Oh my word. From Connecticut. Oh yeah, Vince There's McMahon. There's a massive link here. Boris. That's a... WWF he's, he's, he's is from... I can't wait to hear Jeremy's laugh. I know Boris he has got to win this. Is this are you Jeremy dumb? Jeremy dreads. A thousand percent. So Boris knows Vince. Everyone in Connecticut knows each other. Well, if he, Boris knows Trump, so it's a good chance. Mm. And he doesn't want to talk to Trump. Like last week when Trump came, he didn't want to talk to Trump. He was running away, yeah. Yeah, so. Hiding in fridges. Makes sense. Yeah. Maybe Vince was there, he would have wanted to speak to Vince. Uh, he ended up, his family, in Winsford in the Southwest where Boris started fox hunting as a kid. Winsford. No else. So one second, one second. So Boris has killed a fox in his I, life. I, I'd say a few, yeah. We've got a mad fox mm. infestation going mm. on in London right mm. now. So if he could take care of that. But he was the mayor He was the mayor of London and he wasn't killing foxes as mayor of London. No, but he needs to use his skills now because we could do with less foxes. Well, whoever's in charge, killing animals should be illegal. Really? Well, because I used to have an animal. Mm. Pablo, dog. But for me, killing animals should be illegal. You should be cautioned for running over a pigeon, in my opinion. Mm. Serious? Yeah, they, you they, love animals. Uh, it's, it's all God's creation. They're, they're here I for a reason. Still. Remember these animals. Even though I said to kill foxes, I don't kill foxes. Just get rid of them. So mm. nap them and then dash them in the woods somewhere. But you know what is? London. Growing up, I've understood that raw like animals can make their own decisions. I was walking through a shopping centre. Yeah, a pigeon was flying towards my forehead. Yeah, before I ducked, it moved out of the way. Yeah. I said, okay, you're like me. <laughs> you're realizing there's danger. Now the problem is, if the pigeon was flying for this up the with critical walking towards that pigeon, <laughs> doesn't matter if critical moves, there's gonna be a collision. <laughs> Next story. 
He was raised by his. <laughs> <laughs> he was raised by his mother and an au pair. What's an au pair? It's like a living nanny. Yeah, oh. nanny. nanny. Mm-hmm. Boris suffered. A living nanny. What's a dead nanny? Live in rather oh, than live oh, in. Oh, yeah. with you, nanny. Yeah. See, I was, I was very. I was. I was maybe about. See, see where that letter is from here. Yeah. That close to being a manny. Really? Yeah. So when I was um, a football coach, one of my American parents liked me so much, and they offered me a job to be a manny. Stupid money. Yeah, stupid, stupid money. Stupid money. They offered me a car. They were living in Regent's Park, so there was floors in the house. Um, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about living living there. The, I think the dad, I can't remember the woman, was, the, no, the mum, did, she didn't have a job, but the dad was, uh, he was in the FBI, but he was here for a year to train police officers. Right. So yeah, I was basically that close to being a manny, but I pulled out. Could have been the next Boris that you'd look after. Oh, mate. I'm looking for, I'm actually looking for the family on Facebook. I can't find them. I'm gonna find them now. The kid's name was Hunter. Hunter, if you're watching this, message me, man. Hunter Hurst Helmsley. Oh, mate. Why, what do you wanna do? Oh, that was, I just want to speak to them again, man. They were nice, man. Oh. Every Christmas, they used to give me oh, loads of stuff. Such as? Such of this. As, such of this. <laughs> What's that? No, they did it, man. I know where Sky you Sports that from. sent this to me today. Yeah. And I want to thank Sky Sports because what I've done is I've decided to give this gift to Skits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, alcohol that I don't drink, but yeah. Sherry. This can go to. Oh, can I give it back to you? Say, give this to Auntie Fanta for me. So I was gonna give it to Auntie Fanta, what? but I don't know. Remember, Auntie Fanta don't drink. My family, uh, they don't drink. They don't drink. Nah, they used to oh, drink back you, in the day, but everyone now is just. Thank you, Sky Sports. Yeah. No, no. Thank you, me. Mm-hmm. I got it off Sky Sports and gave it to you. Thank you, Spec Sports. There's no rules, man. There's Spec no rules. Sports. I like that. Boris suffered from deafness mm. as a child. I couldn't hear. Mm. <laughs> you gonna laugh? Boris, are you serious? You couldn't hear back in the day. So did they sign language you doing when he was young? Uh, he ended up getting grommets and they fixed his ear- hearing. It's a grommet, like a hearing aid. No, nah, it's a little tube that just acts kind of as a. Well, I'm gonna tell you a story, man. I, I wasn't gonna tell you the story, but it happens. But it's no rules. It's life, innit? I was P teaching in the school. I had to go into a new school because of the coaches. <laughs> Don't do that. Are you going to talk about a kid? Of course, there's no uh, rules. Uh, one of the coaches that was working with called in sick. Uh, so I had to leave my school to go into his school. I hadn't been in his school before. I've gone in his school um, and straight away, the class was already in the hall. So when I've come in, obviously I'm not late because I've it's late cover. I've walked in and T. The kid's all over the place. Right, behaviorally. Behavior wise, and you know me, I was, I was, you know, P- T- P- people that know me, Coach Ferdy as a P teacher, I was, as, I was a fun teacher, but I was strict. You couldn't play with me. So I grilled them, you know, you know, I did my thing, I did, I did what I did. They, they're sitting in front of me, I'm telling them off, and then one kid decides to, you know, just make a noise. The noise just came out. Yeah, we were. <laughs> So I switched. So I went right in the kid's face and I yelled, I'm not, I said the coach's name. Don't you ever do that again. You understand? I walked off. The TA tapped me. (laughs) Coach, he's deaf. (laughs) So I went and did it again. (laughs) Was he crying? Of course. (laughs) I did it again. (laughs) You know why? Because pigeons don't have ears. <laughs> they do have ears. No, they don't they have ears. Do. Where? They're like gill, they're like mouse. Pigeons don't have ears. Pigeons yeah, have the same They got the mouse ears. Yeah, they're they can in, still hear. Yeah. They got little gills. Clap your hand there, pigeon. See the, see the wings come out and it's gone. <laughs> At that point, no, post that. deafness, he's been living in Winsford, he's been chasing foxes. They move again. They move around, they move to Maida Vale. Then they move to Primrose Hill. Ooh! That, so so I was west like, and north. Right? Yeah. That. So Primrose Hill was Regent's Park. Though close by. Big houses there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primo's a nice area, man. Very nice area. It's north though, isn't it? 
Yeah, 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 Camden, North, the, Northwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Northwest? Yeah, NW, nice, yeah, yeah. Nice Camden, nice. yeah, near Camden. He then moved to Brussels, where his dad was working. Congolese area, Judy. <laughs> Ooh, your boys are in Brussels. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you just now, there's a big festival in Brussels that I'm thinking about going. It's called Tomorrowland. Have you heard of it? Yeah. It's an electoral festival. That's in Brussels. Electro. Yeah. So I think Morris has been there. That's just boom, boom, boom. That's where, yeah. when you do that and your hair goes all messy, to the music. <laughs> that is Boris's hairstyle. Uh, his mum then had a nervous breakdown and was diagnosed with clinical depression and he was sent to boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that, man. Clinical depression is real out here. His mum has the same last name as me. Keeble. That's my middle name. Oh, what's your last name? Same as Boris Johnson's mum's. You're living in Primrose Hill. No, Brussels. Oh, Brussels. So you've He's moved got, to Brussels now. So you was in Primrose Hill. Before that, you was in America. Now you're going to Brussels. And you're upset. I mean, people like me just came straight from Africa, straight into the hood. And there's no such thing as upset. So that's why, it's just for me, it's just like, wow. It doesn't matter about how much money you have. You can still be upset. Yeah. That's just saying. Oh, that sounded, that come out good there, boy. So Boris Johnson is relatable because so, of the story. So, of course, it's very, this is very relative. Uh, I can relate to Boris Johnson. This is why he should win. Well, his parents divorced. Mm. Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm when Boris's when, life when, right when? now. When? Halfway? <laughs> Probably a little bit less than so the, halfway. So the bed eventually stopped shaking. Yeah. Which means he went to the sofa. Yeah. The Roy's wall. Shoulders started yeah. shaking. Uh, Roy as well ticked over. His mum moved to Notting Hill where he spent most of his time. Carnival! Aye, Trinidad! He, aye, listen, this guy's lit. Mm. He's been everywhere. Trinidad! Come on. When, when Carnival's on, do you get a lot of rats in that in your house? No, <laughs> man. Is it? Because apparently there's a rat fest after Carnival. No, it's fine, man. The, Is it? The, the, the <laughs> rats in your house. <laughs> the, the rubbish men. There's mm. a thousand workers that work overnight. So within four or five hours, the streets are clean. Boat. My ends is clean. Boat? Yeah. That, um, he's um, not a rubbish man. <laughs> no, he, like, he, he's not a, he, he's, he's a, he does his train driving. Yeah. But during carnival, he does the he rubbish does stuff. Man. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a hustler. <laughs> 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 Boris went to Eton on a King's Scholarship. Eton Primary School, that's where my goalkeeper went. Top school, private school. I think it's like 45k a term. Well, he went on a King's Fuck. Scholarship, which is a reduced fees entry granted for great academic performance. So he didn't pay full rate. Because he, he was so smart, apparently. He was smart. Is it? He got VIP treatment because he was smart. He got a table and all that? Yeah, everything. Well, it was the lot. Boris was super smart, yeah. How old is he? 12, 13? However old you are when you go eating, yeah. Don't he look stupid though? Because you see him flying in on a parachute and you but think this brain academic. I think in 2019, the smart guys now look stupid. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> go on. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like Miles. Miles? Is he smart? I think Miles is smart, yeah. Only joking. <laughs> 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 what kind of joke is that? <laughs> That's like the worst punchline That's of your so career. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, I'm saying smart guys of today look like they don't look smart. Such Back in the day, you could tell if somebody was clever. Yeah. Now, I mean, my school, if you had ankle swingers, yeah. it was like, you, you're mad clever. Drain pipes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Shirt tucked in. We used to have a uniform, so my tie used to be. I used to wear Did my you ever tie. Make it fat. Yeah, and short. Hitch, fat and short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? With a shirt out and a reboot workouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Everyone you keep my ankle swingers yeah, with a long tie and your blazer with the button touching, you was a smart. Do you know, guy. I got away with, and it's stupid swag now. I had Nike black jogging bottoms on and workouts, and then shirt tie blazer. So I was half and so half. So again, Nike, what gun? I had Nike yeah. black bottoms. With a blazer? With a blazer shirt and tie. So we, but when I wore my coat, you can't see the uniform. I know why you did that, because of PE. You didn't want people to see your legs. No, no it's because he like went PE. to Westminster, uh, City of Westminster, right? Yeah, I went to yeah. yeah. Dickhead school. Is it? Yeah. Do you know what else? Westminster Boys, Pimlico. Westminster Pimlico. Boys, Pimlico. Dickhead Pimlico. school. Pimlico. Yeah. Okay, no man, what all that traffic? You went to school for five years there? Yeah, it's sick there still. My mum got mixed up with North Westminster, Westminster. <laughs> Fresh up. That's why the dad, that, the dad's right to leave. 
<laughs> it was my mum that left. She was wrong to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Up until this point, Boris had been calling himself Alex, but now he wants to be known as Boris. So in Eton, he's dropped Alex, now he's Boris. Everyone eventually changes their name, innit? Oh, he would have Not been everyone. sick as ABJ, man. What's that? Alex oh, Boris. A BJ. He could have been called a BJ. A yeah. BJ, oh yeah. yeah. A BJ. Or ABJ, like Alex Beckham Jr. No, like a blowjob. Yeah, that was, you did that. I got yeah. that. Yeah. A BJ. A BJ. School reports at Eton say that he was very <laughs> smart. But they complained about his idleness, complacency, and lateness. But he was very popular and well known. Lateness makes sense. Like you can tell Boris loves his sleep. And I love my sleep as well. I've been waking up 4 p.m., 5 p.m. every day lately. I've just been That's, sleeping. So you wake up when you go to bed when it's dark and you wake up. I when go to bed dark. very late. My, my sleep pattern right now is just all over no, the place. No, man, I, thought, I swear you get up early all the time. You yeah, but see, I put a message, I put a message in the group that yeah, said that I was with nines at 4.48 a.m. <laughs> I was awake. Yeah. Yeah, was but I was going to sleep. Boris went on a gap year to Australia where he taught English and Latin. Latin's a very good language. Oh, he's got, he's had a mad, like so far this is lit. Well, this is, this is lit than Bob. My man has enjoyed us. carnival, that Brussels fucking, Brussels sprout. Tomorrow fest. Mm -hmm. uh, he's lived in Connecticut with Vince McMahon. He went fox hunting and shit. Hold on, Latin is Latin, thou, shall, that stuff. Is that no, that's old English. No, that's Latin old English. is a whole different set of the, Latin uh, is like Hadeus humerus. corpus and say yeah. something to me now. Let me see. Because um, I remember Latin in school. Loco parentis, I believe that's Latin. What's pig Latin then? Ex nay, bitch nay. Oh. In school, I was not interested in Latin, man. I don't remember being taught Latin. I remember Latin. Latin, you know. That's crazy. I remember that, that lesson. Yeah, Latin, Latin. Uh, we that's had a Latin crazy. lesson. Yeah. How did they teach us Latin? Because your school, obviously, you went to a hood school. I went to a, like a private school. That's why. There's only like 10 of us in the classroom. Oh, okay. You no, know, that's centre. You know, all, all, all your family members. No, just me. You went to a private school but had a TA? Yeah. What? Yeah, because I wasn't meant to be there. Oh. So it's going to kick me out because I'm paying. How did you get that? King Scholarship. How did you get, how, why did you, why did mum send you to a... Accident. <laughs> accident? Just like it was your accident, yeah. Yeah, just like my one. Yeah. Mine was an accident as well. Oh, shit. Basically, I was meant to go boarding school. Is it? Mm. Boarding school was one of, that was the threat my aunties and my mum. You would have ended up a proper neek. What's that? What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm glad you went where you went. My fear, sleep, sleeping at a school was my biggest fear when I was a kid. Really? Sleeping at a school? I don't think I've Sounds like jail, bruv. Yeah. yeah, that sounds nuts, man. Yeah, not on it. Boris went know. to university in 1983 with David Cameron, William Hague, Michael Gove and Jeremy Hunt. Why don't I just name William Hague? Is he, is he an author? It, William He's a Hague, violet, isn't it? William Hague used to be the leader of the Conservative Party. He was competing with Tony he, Blair back in the day. So they're all boys. This is for fellas back in the day. I, I promise you, they all went to school together. They all went to, they they just all went to school together. I just said that. Did you say that? They went to university together. Oh, Cameron, university. Hague, Gove, who, Hunt. Who else? Boris. Was Blair? David Cat. No, no, no. Oh. no. But, so they all go to university together. They're all high profile Conservative politicians. And they joined something called, not all of them, a lot of them joined something called the Bullingdon Club. You've heard of that? That sounds like Illuminati. That's, yeah, what, what is that? What is that? What is Homework, it? cricket, and whatever. Is that like a youth club? Like a cult. Yeah, I know, these posh guys have got nothing to do. What's this? It's closer to what Skit says, I reckon. It's a dining club where they're a gang and they get together and dine. But really, they did some, allegedly, because I wasn't there. Did some freaky stuff. They would get drunk. They'd smash up the town. They'd Sex party. mash up restaurants and then just throw money at the people and just go, ah, oh, yeah, you, you fix it. And there is this famous story that came out a couple of years ago. You'll remember David Cameron and a pig. Oh, did he fuck a pig? Pig's head, apparently. What did you do, What did you do with the pig's head? Alle allegedly, fuck. this has been I widely. Just, I just had Percy pigs. Don't do this to me, man. This has been widely discredited as they, a story, but it was a big story when it came out. There are people that say that to prove his loyalty to the Bullingdon Club or something like that, pig's head. he had to have sex with a pig's head or put his penis inside a pig's head in its mouth, a dead pig's mouth. And he did it. This is a, this is widely discredited, this with story, but it's good It's good enough for us to talk that's about. fucked. On a boner? On a boner. No, if it's a boner, then he, that, that's wrong because that means he got excited. But pig's life. flesh is the closest to human flesh. Uh, so he could have just closed skits, his eyes. Skits, skits. You really cannot rise for a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know you could be critical. You really cannot rise. <laughs> so, if this was that David Cameron was on, do you think Boris Johnson was 
my pigs. Oh, what? <laughs> the thing is, you know what's mad? When I look at Boris Johnson's face, he's guilty. Of? Of fucking a pig. Oh. Anyhow. Okay. That's the thing. I like it. <laughs> what? But I wouldn't do it. But I like it because what? it's... You're saying... I like it because it's organic. It's well, wild. It's, I don't think it's organic. It's organic to him. Okay. It's wild. You know, like, it's not like the... He's got a great bio here, and then this banging the pig comes out of nowhere. There's really no rules in Boris. <laughs> I can relate to that. I'm not saying I'll do a pig, by the way. <laughs> Um, to try and become Oxford Union president, he pretended to be a socialist and aligned himself with the Social Democratic Party and the Liberal Party. So he lied a lot. I, yeah, I, I, I remember like the him. lies. Pope wouldn't like him. He lies See, this is us. Everything I'm hearing He'd be a us. sick, filthy fella, you know. This is us. Yeah. Who's banged the pig out of us, look? What animal? Steve-O. Steve-O? Steve-O? Raw, man called M. So, now, now, right, now, let's be honest. Yeah, let's be honest. As much as we, we all love Steve-O, <laughs> If we had to choose, Steve or Wood, do Steve an animal. Would definitely. He's he's. I reckon Dan and Steve boss. would battery appear. Dan, yeah, yeah Dan, Dan would probably take it. Savage Dan and Steve. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they will weigh in a pig. Yeah. That's why they do weigh in with JD. Yeah. <laughs> what? He graduated in the late eighties and went into journalism for the Telegraph. Is that is this a lie? Because there was a lie about him doing all this stuff, but he didn't really do it. Did he really do journalism? He did journalism. Okay, cool. Yeah. Fucking journal. Mm. And then it was the transition into politics. Obviously, he did some TV. Mm. Have I got news for you? Made himself very popular doing that. And he then did TV uh, as well. He did a lot of TV. Then I went on to become you mayor Corbyn's of London. Life is boring compared to this. But you watch Corbyn's. Lost. Corbyn's from a flat in South London or some shit. Just like Tigo. And watch. he was at a local pub, and then he said, "Fuck this." I'm gonna. Yeah. yeah. There's no. I, this is amazing. Do you know what? Do you know what I like about Boris? That's the one. When, when I watch Boris talk now, I'm like, now I get why he's like, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, like, I get right it. now he's just a, this guy that comes and doesn't care about cameras. Mm. He just experienced hides in fridges. He's hides just on a motive. He's, he's on motives. You know when he tackled that them those kids when they're playing rugby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And football. He doesn't care. I like this. I like nah, this. Guy. He's funny, man. Well. We've done Boris. That was his life before politics. He's won. Let's say J- Jeremy Corbyn. Now let's get into Jeremy Corbyn, leader Jezza. of the Labour Party. JC. Jeremy Bernard Corbyn was born 26th of May. ABC. <laughs> before Christ. ABJ and JBC. Yeah, terrible. Je- <laughs> Job. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Bernard Corbyn was born 26th of May, 1949, which makes him 70 years old. Sorry, one second. What was, he, what was things month? June 19th. <laughs> He's the same star son as my daughter. 70 years old. What? I thought he was younger than Boris. No pace. <laughs> Boris is 55. Jones no pace, but you're running 70. for prime minister. <laughs> Get out of here, Jamie Corbyn, bro. Nah, he's, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's a greedy old, man, dude. He's That's been, a greedy he's... pension. <laughs> Remember Brian Robson for Newcastle? <laughs> Bobby Robson. No, no bro- yeah, it's Bobby. That's yeah, Brian yeah, Robson. Yeah. yeah, Bobby Robson, remember? He that's had a, the drip that's a legend, him man. on the fucking... That's a legend, that's a legend. Is it? He passed away, let me just... What a legend. Yeah, that was a legend. I actually love Bobby, Bobby Robson. Yeah, he was involved with Ronaldo Mourinho, wasn't he? Yeah, Mario M- and Mourinho. Who was, the, who was the Bulgarian striker? Hristo Stoichkov. Hristo Stoichkov. And Emmanuel Manique. What team? Barcelona. Barcelona. Oh my days, he was he was amongst them men. Yeah. yeah. Oh my legend. days. He, he signed Ronaldo. Oh fucking hell. Jeremy Corbyn was born in Chippenham, Wiltshire. And lived there until he was seven when he moved to Pave Lane in Shropshire, which is just, all that, all, just all next all to Wales. Shears. All those shears is those places where you where you drive there and it's just Man they make county lands yeah, there, man. Farms. There's no, there's nothing there. You see where Bolt got married? Do you remember? Did you come? I weren't invited. Ah, I think I only knew him for a year or two. Oh, okay, okay. I'm glad I didn't go though, because I heard oh, how fucking it was mad it was. was. You lot got fed the next day, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I didn't even eat. I just ordered Harry Bowls. And Poe was the photographer. Poe was dressed as a photographer. Dressed as a photographer. Yeah. Oh. Poe doesn't have shoes, so he doesn't smart clothes. And um, <laughs> Bolt's dad just started doing F64 <laughs> on the what? mic. What, speech thing? Yeah, speech. And people are trying to pull the mic off him, but his nose has got a hell of strength. So he kept grabbing back. But it was... <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, like shit, somewhere, something shit. Okay. Them roads where you know when you're driving, 
but then you see something lying on the floor. Like roadkill. Yeah, and you think, what's that? And you roll your window down and it's a honey badger. <laughs> honey badger. Is that what it's called? <laughs> well, there are things called honey badgers. I doubt that's what it was. <laughs> what's the badger anim- animal called? <laughs> Just a badger. a badger. No, I call it honey badger. <laughs> honey badger's a different. And it had a thing. sign on it and it said, was here 1789. <laughs> no one's cleared it up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's father bought Yew Tree Manor in Shropshire. <laughs> Do you guys know about Operation Yew Tree? Operation Yew Tree. Operation Yew Tree was actually the search for the all those paedophiles that were like oh, in the BBC oh, in so the seventies. That's, that, that's a plus, you know. Not that it's for anything, but the house that Jeremy Corbyn grew up in was called Yew Tree Manor. So what did he find? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are Not for, I don't know. You telling me he's a P? No. No. Teacher? <laughs> Maybe. No? Well, no, uh, well, we'll, get, we'll get there, okay. but no, no. He's a PE finder. Corbyn went to Castle House School, which was an independent preparatory school near Newport. No, it's not far. That's where Steve played his football. Yep. And it's not far from Wales. Yeah. It's in Wales. Yeah, it's in Wales. So Newport, okay. That's okay. Now we're, we're talking Jeremy Corbyn. You're getting there. Yeah, he's picking up. Mm-hmm. Then he went to Adams Grammar School. Grammar. Grammar's English. To learn English language, yeah. I remember grammar. Grammar. Grammar's like commas, apostrophes, explain, exclamation marks. Boats, red uh, question Bex, marks. Red, red, red question marks. <laughs> yeah. You've split in the right places. Yeah, oh, yes, so, so grammar it, schools are actually quite a divisive thing in politics. Mm. Uh, I don't know if we have them anymore. Um, we all went to comprehensives. You went to private school. Mm. You went to a dickhead school. Bruh, you went to pr- Cranbrook. That's a private school. Yeah. Oh, eight mile. Wade your school in. That's eight mile, bar. Your school's a dickhead school. Um, Wade his school in, by the way. When, so <laughs> he went to Adams Grammar School. Grammar school uh, is a school, a kind of school that separates kids based on performance. So mm. if you're poor, but you were really doing well they mm. put you in a different school mm. just to be like like get them away from the stupid kids I think that's what it is mm. it's one of those things that was I remember being a political issue between the conservatives and Labour in the Tony Blair days don't know how big of a deal it is now mm-hmm. but Cor- Corbyn went to a grammar school his life is boring to me yeah so far. it's boring but like what a shit life he must be a sick writer well, in whatsapp groups he must be the oh, best because of the grammar <laughs> the grammar's on top I think <laughs> the best grammar of us lot is Savage Dan yeah no Ross Ross is oh Ross! Yeah, I don't Ross. understand what Ross says in the group. I, I don't get it. When Why? Ross, he spells everything I, it correct. Just, it's just it's just too serious. It's like it's a proper like it's like a newspaper article the way he writes. So I can't Ross. I don't understand. He it. That's what I'm talking to you. Yeah, but he breaks it down to me because he knows I wasn't born here. That's what I like. <laughs> Ross don't break it down for no one. See, either you're in South End or you're not. While Jezza was in school, he was active in a group called League Against Cruel Sports. Like, so cruel sports must be boxing. He UFC. was an empath. That's not a cruel sport, no. Uh, it's, it really wanted to stop blood sports, including fox hunting, hare hunting, game bird shooting, and animal fighting. So he, so he was against Boris Johnson from day one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this Boris, is a real okay. match. This is a real match. So they will beef from, from day from, one. Uh, this this is, a, is the longest beef. This yeah. is like Crips and Bloods. This is Crips and Bloods. In 100%. politics. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh, I, well, I'm on Jeremy Corbyn's side on that side. You should be killing Fox. Actually, no, kill foxes now. Boris is just a wild, mm. a wild, wild guy. Mm. Boris is actually Austin 316. Yeah, and Jeremy Corbyn's like Goldberg or Vince McMahon. Now, who had beef with Stone Cold? Bret Hart. Bret. Mm. Yeah, Bret Hart. Jeremy was very active in politics as a teenager and joined the campaign for nuclear disarmament. He wanted all countries oh. to get rid of nuclear weapons. Do you know what? If all countries did do that, I think it would be more, more peace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what Jeremy Corbyn thinks. The other well. day, the sonic boom went in the air, and I, I really thought, wait, hold on, did Kim and Boris just have an f- argument over the phone without telling anyone? And Kim's going to send a, you know, a nuclear something a to land one. and kill us all? Because that's what I'm worried about. But no one's fucking with Kim, man. Don't worry about that. But if Kim never, I'm scared of him because I'm. I'm He's hearing, one of the bruv. America's scared of Kim, and America's not scared of no see, one. I don't, see, when people say all this stuff, it makes me scared. He also campaigned against the Vietnam War. That was USA and, and Vietnam, Vietnam, right? Vietnam, yeah. U- USA invaded Vietnam, right? In- yeah, it's very complicated. Yeah, okay, yep, yep. Yeah. Um, Jeremy did some journalism for the Newport and Market Drayton Advertiser. Mm-hmm. Boris, obviously, for the Telegraph. Different. Mm-hmm. Before he did two years voluntary service overseas in... Jamaica. 
What did he do in Jamaica? What did Jeremy Corbyn do in Jamaica? I'm asking you. He was a youth worker. He was a youth worker and a geography teacher. (laughs) He was at a youth club in Jamaica. (laughs) (laughs) And the way Poet talks about Jamaica, this is an L for Jamaica. (laughs) Why? I've been to Jamaica. I've been to Jamaica. Have you? Yeah, I went went for my cousin's birthday. Kim Richardson and my cousin. They got married, didn't they? In Jamaica. I was DJing at the wedding. But I didn't come. I went Matigo Bay and I didn't really come out. But I think when I when I landed there, I had I landed in Kingston and I drove. We drove to Montego Bay, and I remember going around these mountains, and I was thinking, "Buff, this car's gonna fall off this cliff, and I'm gonna die because the roads are so they're narrow." Mad, isn't it? Yeah, but you you have to trust the drivers there. They know what they did, man. So Jamaica was like, it was it was just weird to me, but for Jeremy Corbyn to be there as a youth worker. Jamaica. I mean, I, I was at a Yardie party the other day where a guy just stood on top of the speaker very high and started performing his song. They take risks, Jamaicans. They do. They, they jump like fly off clubs. Shit. Yeah, they fly off. They're, they're the, they, they make perfect Hell in a Soul um, wrestlers. Because mm. they'll be on that shit. They're high flying. I think Jamaicans are like Hardy Boys. Mm, that's a risk. Because Hardy Boys always get injured. Kofi Kingston's Jamaican, right? Just, uh, in wrestling but when I look at him by the side of his nose he's from Ghana so after Jamaica he travelled through South America and got involved in some political movements there in South America Brazil Chile so he's a guy that just goes and looks for problems in these countries <laughs> Vietnam let's go Jamaica be you fucking see what's going on know what the problem yeah, is he's nosy he's nosy he is isn't he yeah, yeah. yeah. He looks like one of them charity workers mm. on the road that says, mm. can I get, can you get to sign here? Yeah, and then... Like, he's one of them yeah, guys, one guys, it's true. Whereas Boris would be the bread to knock the thing yeah. out of his hand and go, get away from me, Yeah, peasant. Boris is winning. Boris is winning. He's winning. Attitude. Yeah. Um, after that, he got into politics big style. Tony Benn really liked him. Who the fuck's Tony Benn? Big style. Big style politics. So what, there's small style politics as well? Of course. You can, we're doing small style politics right now. No, this is organic politics right now. This is mad. This is how we're understanding. This is, this is, this is how we understand it, in fact. But, yeah, it, Jeremy Corbyn sounds a bit too serious, Teagle. So, uh, let's, let's, let's take some seriousness out of him. Yeah, man. Corbyn has a cat named El Gato. He which is Spanish up. for the cat. You know, now we're talking. Up, it? Now we're talking. That just doesn't make no sense, but I like it because it's just El Gato. That's a El sick Gato. name. El he, Gato. A cat, though. That's like a gun mm. in Latin. El yeah, something. El something, isn't it? El Gato. Yeah. A strap. And he used to have a dog named Mango. How did he do that? Name I've got an article for five He's got a dog called Mango. Dog called Mango. I feel like. Jeremy Corbyn's going war against me. He's, he's having war against me now. What do you mean, Mango? A dog and a cat called L. I don't understand. It, it should be the other way around, in fact. Was this after Jamaica or before Jamaica? This is after Jamaica, yeah. Yeah, so that's what did to him. Ganja. Yeah. Jeremy Corbyn. Do you think he had ganja? Definitely. Two years in Jamaica. That's a well, Boris has admitted to smoking weed and doing cocaine. See, that's a man. Yeah, but Boris is a wild man. He's, he's a At party animal. The truth. Now, here's a bit that might swing things for you. In 2016, former leader of the Labour Party, Neil Kinnock, gave a speech very critical of Jeremy Corbyn. Apparently it was a very brilliant speech and it's on SoundCloud. Neil Kinnock put it on SoundCloud. Don't don't disrespect Neil Kinnock, that is my friend. And he is very anti Jeremy Corbyn. So he's on Boris's side. Yeah. He's not on Boris's side. No, he no. Just, no, he's not on none of the sides. But he's he hates Jeremy Corbyn. But of course, you know who hates Boris Johnson, and gave a speech this week about how much he hates Boris Johnson. John Major. John Major spoke to the yeah, John Major's alive. But John Major was the former prime minister. Yeah, he was cripping for time. So, based on the leaders, just leaders, we're gonna do policy next. Who are you going for? Boris, man. Actually, no. Nah. Because I don't want to have a wild country. No, nah, go for Corbyn because he, he tries to fix problems. We need someone that's serious and wants to fix problems. True. He went around South America, Jamaica, 
whales trying to fix problems. We need a problem fixer, not a host. Yeah. Like, we don't want a party animal. Yeah. So what are you saying, based on the leaders? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go Jeremy Corbyn. Just because that means Yardy Raves can go on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big Yardy Raves fan. I'm a big fan. Yardy Raver, so. Uh. Well, oh, yeah, people. Uh, we've got some Food Fellas fans that uh, was at the Yardy Rave I saw, and they said they watch Filthy. And Norman, Serious? So I want to pick them up. All you Jamaicans that are watching, well, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Top blows on skirt. <laughs> is it? And uh, we are now going to go policy. You're, I'm going to read you a policy. Mm. You're going to tell me whether you strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree. Mm. I'm going to click the button. Then at the end of that list, it's going to tell us who you should vote for. Okay. You boys ready? Ready. The UK should leave the EU without a deal. Brackets hard Brexit. Strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, or strongly agree. Strongly disagree. We should stay where we are. Yeah, stay where we are. Disagree. Strongly or? Strongly. Okay, good start. You guys are being strong with your answers. Mm -hmm. The UK should leave the EU under the terms of Boris Johnson's deal. Hmm? Was I, don't I, don't, I want to stay. Yeah, Boris so Johnson's deal can get the hell out of here. Yeah. So strongly disagree. Strongly, strongly disagree. disagree. Yeah. You suck. Kurt Angle's theme song. Why don't Boris leave by himself? With his deal. He's been everywhere. He lived in Brussels. He's yeah, been everywhere. Yeah, let him, no, let him go. He, let him go back to Brussels. Article 50 should be revoked and the UK should remain in the EU. Yeah, let's stay in the EU, man. Let's okay. stay here. Yeah, everything. Anything to do with us dusting, I'm not on. Yeah. I just want to stay here. Like, Strong or? Strongly disagree. Strongly. Strongly agree. Strongly agree that we should stay here. Yeah, we should yeah, stay yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, sorry. A second referendum should be held to choose between a new deal to leave the EU and remaining in the EU. Yeah, strongly agree. It should be a well, you, we have a, should have another re referendum. I'm on it. With Jeremy Corbyn and Boris again? Yeah. That would be a general, a general no, a referendum would be stay a in whole. Europe or take this new deal. No, we want to stay in Europe. So, so yeah, we, we, so we have to- You want a second yeah. referendum. So, yeah, we want a second referendum, yeah. yes. We're getting there, people, politics, come on. We're getting there. I'm, really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'll tell you this now, mm. yeah. The first ep that we filmed was mm. amazing. You got to mm. know a little bit about me. Mm. This fucking episode, we're discussing politics, which I have no care in the world for. I like, think I'm learning a lot about you. you. you, you but I've lo what I will say the positive mm. to this is mm. I have learned more than I've ever learned. I've, ever? I've learned <laughs> in politics. Okay. I don't pay attention like, on TV. When they're talking, they're going, who? All of us are like this. Yeah, trust me. All of us. Even my aunties. My aunties don't know nothing about politics. I think most people are like this, mm. and they just they ask people to summarise a breakdown of who they should vote for. Mm. Who's good, who's bad. That's it. Income tax should be increased for people earning over £80,000 a year to pay for public services. Strongly disagree. Strong. I, I, I think tax should be called Taxosaurus. <laughs> extinct <laughs> like the dinosaurs. <laughs> All those Saurus dinosaurs that were extinct. I want that type of tax. I want uh, uh, something happen. I want something big to happen where tax goes out the window. No, but do you know what it is, yeah? Take if we still have tax, money. I'd like tax to be used no. positively. No, I no. work hard for my own money. It's no, mine. I hear that. But if, <laughs> imagine your money made a difference to something positive. Like what? Wrestling? Yeah. Shoulder shaking? What? You'd be, be, uh, be for example, mm. it, it managed to cut that, like you managed to do something that stopped, prevented knife crime and all that. And yeah. every, all the money that got put towards it helped yeah. the campaign out. Yeah. And we saw less knife crime. That is a positive of using taxpayers' money. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I I I I'll take that. But because at least we're all doing something. So so the question: income tax should be increased for people earning over eighty thousand pounds a year to pay for public services. Yeah, eighty thousand. So okay, because so, I don't have eighty thousand pounds a year. So if you're so I'd like them to pay more. you're Ian Sterling, you're getting three hundred k a week. Yeah, make them pay more tax because they're getting all that money just to kick a ball. After seeing his birthday party. He I want him to pay more ninety percent of his money. <laughs> yeah, 100%. agree or strongly disagree. Only for we 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 him Sterling. Okay, right. but no, yeah. but we're, what about oh, we're going to try and build a real profile Rashford? of who you should vote for. I'll throw names now, Rashford. <laughs> yeah, I want ninety percent. Okay, what about Neil Kinnock? Who? Uh, Neil Kinnock? No, he's fine. Okay, so do you strong <laughs> income tax should be increased for people earning over eighty thousand pounds a year? Yeah, depending <laughs> who you are. <laughs> are you saying that it should be more? And the income tax should be higher for people have, may, earning more. Have, 80 thousand is maybe too low. Because Raheem Sterling earns that in half a week. Yeah, so more. We have to deal with the threshold right now of 80,000 pounds. Are you saying it should be more There's for no people like Raheem There's no Sterling? Freehold. There's no freehold here. We're not talking about properties. 
I'm telling you, I want. This is my this is my negotiations. <laughs> We're having negotiations. This is, sorry, people. It's a political war here now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. If you're earning 150, if you're earning over 80 thousand pounds, yeah, you should be taxed more. Right. But it depends who you are and what you're doing. Okay. So so strongly uh, neutral, maybe. Let's go neutral. Okay. What do you reckon, Skits? Yeah, it's a neutral for me. Okay. Interesting. The basic rate of income tax should be increased for all taxpayers by one p to pay for public services. What's a penny? Even though someone said pennies make pounds, what's a penny added onto it? Is a penny still that color? Is it still brown? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fine then. <laughs> Strongly agree. As long agree. as it's not silver and gold, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Strongly no. agree, agree. Stro strongly agree. Strongly agree. Yeah. Both strongly agree. Yeah. So you're voting very similarly at this point, so you're gonna come up with the same results. The married person's tax allowance, which is up to 250 pounds per couple, should be continued. Can you break that? Can you explain? Because you, that, that so you're saying people that are married yeah. at the moment they have a tax allowance of two hundred and fifty pounds. They have an allowance, so they get given. Depends no, I what? think it's a tax break. Like oh. they get two hundred fifty pounds less tax because they're married. Because they're married to encourage people to be married. No. So what would my answer be if I just said no? Disagree. Or disagree. Strongly disagree. Yeah, strongly disagree. Yeah, that's interesting. What you have to be? What so? You can order, be together. So you can't be single. So you, you being single are fucking bad things. Yeah. Or, or, or being in a long-term relationship. Or being in a long-term. Being at one club or being at many clubs. I don't know, to bear clubs. What would you choose? Depends how I feel. Depends, what, depends how, how I'm being treated at the club. So are you in favour of the married person's tax allowance remaining or ending? I'm thinking of Bolt here now. That's all I'm doing. I'm thinking about Bolt. Right. Bolt should be allowed nothing. So, so you, you, you think give it away, give back that two hundred and fifty pounds? No more tax allowance for married people. Yes. Yeah, because that's a waste of time. Yeah. You guys just vote in the same on everything. Corporation tax, corporation tax rates should remain at nineteen percent and not increase to support business. I, what, what business? What? I don't want to support nobody's business. Only my own. I don't <laughs> because I came into this world by myself, and I'm leaving by myself. You didn't really. You came out of your dad's nutsack into your mum's. So yeah, you're you happy I mean? for corporation tax to raise. What, what uh, so I pay corporation tax? No, no, no. Corporations no, no. pay more tax to me. Corporations no, no, just pay more into tax the in system, general. into no, the country. No, don't know me. Why can't corporation pay me? Well, corporations do pay you. Where? Uh, and Sky when? Sports, JD Sports, Adidas. Oh, those kind Nike. of corporations. Yeah, yeah but they, oh, they, they, keep paying, they, they, yeah. they keep paying me. Okay, but that's not what's on the table. Corporations currently pay nineteen percent in tax. Yeah. Now they shouldn't because they're paying people. Interesting. They're paying people. So that because because they're paying people, they're keeping people employed. They're paying into the system. Right. Nineteen percent is probably enough or too much, maybe. It's too much. Is in your opinion? Yeah. Take ten away. Let's make it nine. Nine percent. Yeah. <laughs> so so there is no option to reduce. There's only an option to yeah. keep it the same or raise it. No, reduce it. But why is there no option to reduce? Because that's not how the questions yeah, worded. Huh? That's all. I'm here to challenge. The question. This is no rule show. I can challenge the question. It doesn't have yeah, the algorithm. Already. You can't, it doesn't no have the algorithm. Edit. Huh? The question. I've got. I've, there's two editors in the room now. They can edit. <laughs> Don't tell me that stuff. Corporation tax should remain at 19 percent and not increase to su to support business. Strongly disagree. Disagree. Neutral. Agree. Strongly agree. Strongly agree that it's not going to be increased. I'm just gonna agree. Would you rather? Well, I guess corporations could pay more. No. And then the system's no. got more money. No, they pay like less. The more they pay, the less they want. Like People. workers, yeah. All right, see, that's fascinating. That's a really fascinating right. interpretation of that conundrum. High speed two railway should be built at a cost of 80 billion pounds. Agree. What does that Strong mean? Like a train goes faster. It's a train that connects Only the country. if I end up buying a oh, house in snap. Birmingham. What? Oh, if I end up buying a house in Birmingham in the future, then yes. It's, if I don't, yeah, I, be no. I believe it's quicker to Manchester as well. Is it? Mm. We do that trip a lot. Right, let me just think about my. Let me just think about. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's about me. It's about me. It's not about skips. Eighty about billion. But they're Fast. building fucking Disneyland for how much? Who's they? Not the government. Yeah, they are. They're, bu they're building Disneyland. What? what? Three hundred billion. Wait, who's who's building f Disneyland? Or government billion, apparently. Is, is it? No, they're bu they're building a Disneyland in in England. Who told you this? The point, the point told you this. Point told me he was with Mitch, and I was with Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> High speed rail two should be built at a cost of eighty billion pounds. And he's got first class as well. They'll be first class. Eighty billion pounds. 
20 billion pounds, trains, the Burger King, Manchester, we're hungry, eat, we're going to train, go home. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I strongly agree. That cost please that last one, 80 billion. 80 billion is a lot. That's their money. They've got 80 billion. Who's they? The government. Okay, yeah. what do you reckon? High speed course. rail. No, that's too much peas, man. We need that peas to be No, 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 no. We need that peas to fix our country, bro. Disagree or country. What do we need disagree. to fuck I need to get for? To There's Brexit going on right now. Skits, I, right? skits, I've been to Manchester to work. Actually. And had Brexit, to stand yeah. on the way back because <laughs> everybody was on the train. The train was packed. People putting their bags on seats. Let it be like Amsterdam where there's, you know, the double train's decker. got double deckers. Yeah, let them build, man. Put money in there. So you disagree or strongly disagree, Skits? Save that money for important things? Part life, part life could be on. You get in ten minutes. Come oh, on, you're in London. Shit, for real, yeah, you know what I mean? Come on. It's just a waste of money, man. It's not a waste of money, man. I'm Asian. I know about the railroad system. Yeah, I'm African. I know about it too. No, you don't. Man. The, the first black person to build books. a train was black. The first black person to build a train was black. What? Strongly disagree or disagree? Nah, disagree, man. Okay, that's good. But I like that. Disagree. No, I have no political opinion myself. I just like the rationale and the reasoning you guys are coming to. The situations, rail... ain't, situations ain't changing. Uh, well, There's no, uh, oh, have, we haven't had that one yet. Okay. The rail network in the UK should be returned to public ownership. Not As run by Virgin. Like Barcelona New Cap team. Mm. The what? The what? Rail network. Rail. No, no more Virgin trains. No, no, we need Virgins. No, we need Virgin trains. We need Virgin trains. We need Virgins. We need, I need them trains. Them trains are quick. Nice. They are, man. They're... Yeah, off started. Yeah. What the Pretty fuck? efficient as well. That one, that Virgin one to Manchester. Traveling, traveling, yeah, traveling. Like, if, if you travel, these things are important. Mm. So you disagree that we should renationalize it? Renationalize it means the government takes control. Nah, disagree. 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 Yeah, disagree. Yeah. Man. Okay. We're getting through these. Utility companies in the UK should remain in private ownership. So that's gas, so utility, oh. electric. No, nah, man. Get a now company. there's utility uh, companies that are comparing prices and trying to give you the best option. At least there's some sort of competition, competition there mm. where they want most customers to go for the cheaper option. So you're happy to keep it private so they yeah, can Yeah, man, keep it private, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the government being agree. involved in anything, yeah. I swear so, to so you. Right, so we're on the same page, because if the government get involved, it means Yellow Pages comes back yeah. to your house. <laughs> strongly agree then that, that uh, they should remain in private ownership. Strongly, yeah, strongly, strongly agree. agree. All, my, all my plumbers, all my guys that are doing their thing, yeah, come keep on. doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Keep your thing, man. We're going we're gonna to push through here, man. Cannabis should be legalised. Strongly agree. Strongly disagree, man. Fuck, all, you, fuck all you guys that get high, man. Is it Shut L? up, man. All you 420 guys, fuck off. 421 <laughs> is finished. 420 made you. There should be significantly more police officers in the UK. Significantly? Yep. If they're, if they're not fucking around, if they're not crooked and they just do their job as a public servant, then yeah. If oh, there's no, there's no if ifs on this. That would never change. Of, no. No more feds. Fuck them. Disagree or strongly guys. disagree or neutral? Strongly disagree. Interesting. Specs. There should be more police, significantly more police. You agree. What <laughs> Why? be arrested? I want I want I want half of Phil Fellers arrested. I could call police any time for poet, Miles, Steve O. I need more police involved. And you, you harass everyone. I'm fine, I'm fine, man. I'm honest. Okay, we're gonna bang through a few of these now because this is taking a long time. Taxes should be imposed on meat and dairy products to promote a plant based diet. Ban dairy at all costs. Well, no, that's Strongly not the agree. option. The option is put tax on meat and dairy. Tax everything. That Strongly is agree. Living. Strongly I agree. You want to? You want to? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah um, I, I don't eat meat no You've more. You've been plant based before. Are you currently plant based? Yeah. Yeah. So you strongly agree. Yeah. Okay. The government should pay for free fiber optic broadband for every house in the country. Strongly agree. Strongly agree. Free porn for Shoot. life. Ooh. Free shoulder shaking for strongly, life. Strongly, strongly agree, man. Documentaries strongly forever. Agree. The voting age in the UK should remain at eighteen. Nah, strongly agree. Nah, disagree. I, I don't. I don't. Know. I don't want these drill rappers coming to, to to vote. You guys stay there, do your thing. Now, this one, I'm just going to ask you, and you're going to tell me. I'm not going to. I'm not going to explain it to you. I can't be bothered to explain this oh, one to you. The first past the post voting system in the UK should be replaced with proportional representation. Neutral. <laughs> That's a safe. That's one. a very good answer. Strongly disagree. <laughs> why? Ask me why. why. Why? I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. Standard attainment test SATs currently used in schools should be abolished. Sats. Yeah, get rid of that, man. What year? Year six. Year six and nine, I swear. Save your money and put your kid in Eton. So yeah. <laughs> So you should be abolished. It should be abolished. Yeah, it should be abolished, so, man. Yeah, agree. Fuck tests. Boris Johnson has the skills and experience to be an effective prime minister. 
strongly. Oh, sorry. I, yesterday, <laughs> I strongly agreed. Now, what about now after I'm hearing his life, neutral. Neutral. Yeah, I'm think? neutral as well. Man. Really? He's a wild guy. Jeremy Corbyn has the skills and experience to be an effective prime minister. Strongly agree. Agree. Joe Swinson has the skills and experience needed to be an effective prime minister. What Ooh. club does he play for? She is the leader of the oh, Liberal Democrats. Yeah. She's got no chance. <laughs> Agree, disagree. Well, where are we at? Neutral because you don't know who it is? Swinson. I know who it is. I know who it is. <laughs> yes, you agree? Strongly agree. I know who it is. <laughs> That's a linesman and stuff. I know what's going on. What do you think? Always tucking his shirt and showing the belt. I know who it is, man. Nigel Farage has the skills and experience to be an effective prime minister. Nige. No, Nigel, Nigel Farage. Nige. Nigel Farage. Farouk. Nigel Farage. Nigel Farouk. <laughs> yes. Strongly <laughs> agree. No, People, why is that for Nigel Farouk? It's the worst combination you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Caroline Lucas, although not her party's leader, has the skills and experience needed to be an effective prime minister. Charlotte and Lucas. <laughs> Charlotte and Lucas. <laughs> what did he you say? He knows what he's doing. Specs? Is she a situation? No, no, no. I don't um, think so. Neutral. About you, are you low, younger than 18 or 18 to 39? I'm younger than 18. <laughs> you're, what you're 18, are you talking about? You're 18 agree. to 39. Are yeah. you male, female or other? Male. Thank you, Skits. We have our answers. Specs, you expected other. Your political beliefs are most in line with the Liberal Democrat Party. LD. So liberal I, Democrat shit. So T, I'm, gonna, terrible. I'm gonna vote Liberal Democrats. And Skits, you believed you were gonna be Labour? Yeah. You are in fact Green. For the people. You are you are more of a Green Party voter. Imagine I'm a mediator as well. So when I go home tonight, I'm actually gonna- For the trees. Do my research on Liberal Democrats. Uh, Democrats and I'm gonna yeah. put my vote in for Liberal tomorrow. Based off the Noel Show, Liberia. What George Weah? What Liberia Democrats? You could be represented. Is, is George Weah liberal as well? No. 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 <sighs> Nick Clegg. And that is the No Rules Show general election special. I feel like we've learned a lot, bro. This was a fucking classroom. Today. Yeah. And this is why they say there's a saying: never judge a book by its cover. Because when I saw Boris's face, yeah, I liked him because I liked the way he looked. I didn't know nothing about him. Now I know more about him. I'm like, nah, you fucked a pig. <laughs> <laughs> no, David Cameron. David Cameron fucked a pig, but yeah. Uh, was it David Cameron? He was in Allegedly. Room. Allegedly, but- We don't know anything. But, but Boris is, is in the crew. He's involved. He was, he was in the pig fucking That's a case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a case. Yeah. What? That's joint enterprise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Jeremy Corbyn, Jamaica, obviously Ganja and stuff, uh, uh, South America. I'm gonna send you a clinic of VN. Well, right now we know who the new prime minister is or who the new government of this country is because this episode comes out on Friday. But uh, I'm glad that we could do this. I'm glad that we can understand British politics better together. So thanks for watching, everybody. Skits, thanks for coming. So the second time. Skits has got like a new album every four or five months. Come on. When's the next one? Uh, January 1st. There you go. Subscribe on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and leave comments and tweet us and we need to do a referendum on the wrestling segment because some people are very vocal about it but the people that like it don't say anything so if you like it you got to tell us rules on, there's no rules no respects